My name is Pablo, from a small community in the hills of Manchester, named Grove Place. Uh, we're just running a small operation here with chicken, pigs, and layers. First of all, we start with a couple pigs. We never have any plans. Um, because of the passion of doing things properly, it only seems to grow into start rearing, chickens as well to supply for the restaurant and the pigs. Um, the layer was my wife's idea. And um, so we take it from there, we realize there's a market for it and the product is being sold. So I guess we can continue with it, you know. The biggest challenge was, was the pigs. Uh, we never understand, even though my wife was telling me, she's the brains behind the whole, uh, you know, agriculture aspect. So, but, you know, never listen to a lot of things. So then we had to relocate the farm and rebuild it. Um, that was the challenge in the beginning, because we invest a lot of money and then we have to basically walk away from that. So, now we are kind of getting it. I don't think we get it fully as yet, the pigs, but that's one of my greatest challenge. You see, I have a couple of goats around. Those goats are used for the cleaning of the property then. So instead of you have to get the work and cut it, then the goat can feed and keep it clean. So you're making money off of the goat, and you're also saving money off cleaning the property. That is one aspect. First of all, my wife, she study at Case. So she have a better idea of the, I would say the significant, see of the, the educational aspect of the agriculture business. For me, I study construction. So we only raise an animal because we love it. But when it comes to the sickness, the ill, the, um, the treatments, she have a better aspect of that. Uh, it's always good to have a good partner when you're doing business, because she can run one aspect of the business, I can run one aspect of the business. I think the number one thing the consumer is looking for is not too much fat. Um, the, especially in the pork, we're doing very good in the pork because we got one of the best quality, um, the F1s. So we got like zero fat. So on that basics, we're getting a lot of order on that. We have never really gotten a complaint about the, the pork quality. And so henceforth, we continue with that product, the F1s, which for me is a good meat quality. The chickens, uh, you try to keep, kill them as early as possible, uh, not too big, so they're not too trashy and not tough. So you don't get a constant complaint of the meat coming out in the food at the restaurant. I would like to encourage, encourage more, I don't want to say young people, but people on a whole, that you got to look at life in a comprehensive form where everything intertwined with one another. So farming, um, could be agriculture farming, food farming, and also your daily works, everything intertwined to other. So you gotta start thinking with a more open mind. That's what I get from doing all of this. You have to have an open mind towards what life has to offer you. So if you can really think out of the box, then things will be a little bit better for everybody.